Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Finding Paradise. Last time, we found out that Faye is in fact not real. So, what that means exactly, I, it's pretty much telling us that uh, our friend Colin here is uh, schizophrenic, meaning that he sees things that aren't there, even though most people define schizophrenic as dual personalities, that's not quite true. Um, it, but, uh, yeah, so Faye was not real, and I kind of picked that up once I realized I was seeing Faye go everywhere with Colin, but nobody would acknowledge her, and, like, when she was even in that practice plane ride with him, I was thinking that wouldn't be allowed. So, yeah, she, uh, is not real, and not only that, but she's able to, uh, interact with us. And, uh, she's trying to stop us from getting rid of her. This is Colin's still locked somehow. But, uh, we defeated her in a bunch of battles. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? I hope so. Book mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. Very Christmassy sounding music for our Christmas Eve here that I'm playing this. He's here somewhere. Better not leave so soon. Notice of airport closure. Closed airport. I forgot that note. Okay. So where's she at? Uh, whoa. Oh, yeah, that was my armor. <laughs> Eva, there you are. Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry. I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, and, uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? Patients don't always know what they really want. You of all people should know. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Um. Okay, wait. Hold on just a minute. Wow, those clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Uh, oh my gosh! We're gonna have Dancing Mad come here soon? You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Oh jeez, what am I doing? Oh yes! Attack. Shoo! She's like, really? Oh boy. Okay. Attack. Tornado punch. There we go. Yeah, the shoe wasn't the greatest idea, now was it? Ow, 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 ow. I don't think we're gonna win this one, though. No. We getting a kick. Maybe we'll get a limit break? Oh. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Let's defend. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit, why are you still here? Uh, Rudog? 
Oh! It's an attack like that in, um... Oh, what is it? Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, I could really use some help. Ow. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Another shoe! Oh, that actually got her. What the? Oh, Rudog got my shoe pack for me! Rudog has joined the party! Oh my gosh! Uh, alright. Rudog, nose laser, rocket dog. Compliment! Oh, that was a good idea. Okay. Question Rudog. Virginia Doug's question ceases to exist. Oh, shoot. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, let's do the shoe again and maybe he'll come back. Yay! Let's not question Rudog anymore. <laughs> okay. So, compliment. There we go. That is OP. Alright. Attack. Armageddon kick. Rudog. Nose laser. Oh, snap. Aw, they won't attack with Rudog there. <laughs> Tornado punch. And Boo Dog. Rocket Dog. Oh, yes. Thank you, Boo Dog. Well, that was a hoot. I beg to differ. Ah, oh, shoot, Rude Dog's still up there. I forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't y'all be made up beings acting? Shouldn't y'all made up beings act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what it. Oh, hiccups of what he wants. But so what? With all that you tempt him with, that's no surprise he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be part of his mind, but clearly you don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than a, that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're doing here to do? What? Eva? Yes! Eva? Hey, sorry I had to head out there for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was at administrating sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. Okay, so I actually had another theory about what she was, and I was almost convinced of this. I thought that she was actually Roxy, because, like, even what Dr. Neil said, you remind me of another girl. I thought Roxy, for some reason or another, was also inside Colin's head, in his memories, changing them. And so we were sort of butting heads, and that's why she somehow knew we were there, as was hinted a few times. And there was even a time where she does like the same sort of hand on hip pose as Roxy. But that's not the case. I don't think so, unless I just ruined that. But anyway, that was my other theory. So I guess the, my first theory was right. He, he's just a figment of his imagination. 
<laughs> took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working though. The effect should be sinking in more now. <laughs> wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. <laughs> what the heck is that? Just some new coal code Roxy taught me and sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Oh, wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Pfft, show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self repairs. No, not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough to, for this to work yet. Still need that other memory over for this memory. Huh, I didn't expect it to be locked down for good this soon. You must have tired calling out quite a bit. Well, it was a uh, hard fought. Whatever it was, good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this incident, though. But those can wait until the case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary, we have a little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we still can. There's that memory orb, she had it. This might be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's just something she said earlier. Mm-hmm. That whole thing was messed up. Did she turn freaky and ghastly on you too? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. Never mind, let's just get going and chat later. Indeed. I guess it's not exactly a journal after all. The detour. Sorry, where's the, uh, this thing's still busted up. Where's the orb? Probably these flowers, right? Sheesh, is this putting hibiscus seeds wherever they go? There it is. Alright, I wasn't sure if we'd see another one of these puzzles. Okay, so the one thing we need to do is start creating things. There we go. Alright, if I do that, then... Oh, I can't do that. So that erases it, so we don't want to put that there. Of course. Okay. Well, we got plenty of these now. What can I do there? I can't... Wait a sec. Do this. Yes, all right. Geez, I had to do that puzzle twice because the first time I completed it, the game crashed on me. Activate. Wait, what? Backup iterative data for applied selection. I'm backing up. Data backup complete and stored in repository.
Alright. I guess we stayed on behind on purpose just to uh, do that. That took a while. Weren't you right behind me? Ah, I just had to clean up that mess back there. Well, let's go see what we find in the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Didn't exactly stick that soft landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on actual gr on an actual grass strip. Well, the plane looks fine. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with what the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality, with that the patient uses it, yeah. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning toward that kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. You think she's still able to do, uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now at least. This seems to be just a normal memory playback. Yeah, it could be just he has such a vivid imagination that they manifest as real memories. Alright. We don't have any sort of orb counter at the bottom, so what's going on? Hmm. I guess, uh, up through that fence. So is he going to kind of finally confront her? What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill, too, you know. I'll race you there! same place as before? Hey, I was thinking, it's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other or maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? The wind? It wasn't there a moment ago. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again, you barely walked in his steps. Hey, I'm the one who wants to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. This cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do.
And what would that be? first time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But, you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit old, too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I, le I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. A lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready?
I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You are my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. And you'll tell me about what a happy life you've had, and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will, I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could find a spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book, but with all kinds of different pages. As it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt we, he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is uh, this place is this place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Was I given her phase voice before? So this place is destabilizing. But what can we do to fulfill Colin's final wish? I guess we'll find out next time in what may be the finale of Let's Play Finding Paradise. Thank you for watching and have a good day.